Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I uh, did a uh, video with um, Brother uh, Daniel and Brother Matthias uh, the other day uh, on my personal testimony. <clears throat> and in that uh, video, I talked about uh, my birth date being November 19th and that uh, that's a birth date that is shared with uh, Dr. Peter Ruckman and also uh, a very famous uh, preacher, uh, Billy Sunday. I think he was most active and famous about 1920. Um, but it made me curious to watch uh, some videos about Billy Sunday. <clears throat> and I don't know exactly what his, uh, his message was exactly. Uh, I didn't listen to a full sermon to know if, you know, I can really recommend his message. <clears throat> uh, but uh, as, I, as I learned a little bit about him, I was surprised that I guess he was famous for um, the term or terminology. Um, do you have a personal relationship with Jesus? Is Jesus your personal savior? You know, I've been a Christian now for uh, oh, it's coming up on 32 years now. And I remember soon after I got saved and started studying the Bible and I um, and listening to preachers, back then it seemed that uh, the idea of a personal relationship with Jesus, that Jesus is my personal Savior, that line of thinking and that terminology, um, I remember learning that way back in the beginning of my Christianity. And yet uh, today, I don't hear that terminology used at all. I don't know what happened. Uh, that uh, seems like we all have a different way of expressing this, uh, this faith in, in Jesus. But I think it would be wise to reevaluate this and, and ask that question again. Do you have a personal relationship with Jesus? Is Jesus your personal Savior? Um, as I've been thinking about this, I've, I've become um, convinced that this is really a... Uh, the, the right way, maybe a necessary way of understanding Christianity. And when I say Christianity, I say Christ rather than Christianity. Because I, I concluded that uh, almost all the people who identify themselves as some sort of a Christian um, there, the emphasis for them is themselves, not Christ. Uh, almost all people, even though they think of themselves as a Christian, they uh, they believe that uh, salvation is determined on themselves, uh, on their 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 personal ability to appeal to, to God and say, haven't I done well enough? Am I acceptable to you? And that's, that's really what the religion of Christianity is. But Christianity, the distinction in my mind is that Christ is the focal point. It's not about ourselves. It's about Christ himself. Uh, 
there's a popular song I've heard on the radio the last few years. Uh, uh, it, it's not uh, who, who I am, it's what he has done. It's not what I've done, but who he is. Something to that effect. But that's the that's the point I want to make, is, is that Christianity, the Christianity that we find in the Bible, the Christianity that Jesus wants us to understand and believe, the Christianity that was taught by the apostles that we find in uh, the uh, the gospel accounts and the epistles is this this Christianity and this idea of a personal relationship with Jesus. Uh, this is this is it's that important to understand this, and I think that I'd like to see us get back to expressing it in that way. Do you have a personal relationship with Jesus? And what is that relationship? My personal relationship is Jesus is my Savior, God. So uh, some people, it seems like uh, they have a harder time really understanding really what Christianity is. And, and, uh, and then oftentimes we we struggle how to express it, how to define it, explain it. But I think it'd be wise, and I think it is correct for us to get back to this idea. Do you have a personal relationship with Jesus as your personal Savior? What does that mean? It means that you you believe that Jesus is your savior. You don't believe that you're somehow saving yourself by reforming your life and making yourself acceptable to God. You have a personal relationship with Jesus as your savior because you're relying completely on Jesus. You're not relying on yourself. You have no confidence in your own ability to please God. Instead, your confidence is in Jesus. You depend completely on Jesus. Another way of expressing it is salvation is by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And it must be personal. You must understand that this relationship is about between you and Jesus. He paid for your sins. He promised you eternal life. And he is faithful to keep those promises to you. That's, uh, that is good news. And I don't know. I, uh, when I heard that Billy Junt Sunday had, uh, was famous for uh, this terminology, I say, well, that was well done, and I hope that we can return to that kind of thinking, that kind of preaching. Thank you for watching, and bless you in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.